Missouri at Tennessee. Missouri is two and five against the spread. Their last seven against Tennessee. Uh, Tennessee is a twenty and a half point favorite. Uh, maybe twenty at some places, but twenty and a half at Bet US. Total of fifty seven on this. It's twelve p.m. Eastern time on CBS. Let's dive into the into the numbers here. We'll talk about some trends here momentarily. Uh, my numbers have Tennessee by twenty three point two nine on this. Missouri is seven and three against the spread. Their last ten against SEC competition. They are four and one against the spread in their last five road games. Uh, criminally underrated team most of the time, right? Tennessee six and one against the spread in their last seven after a straight up loss. They are five and one against the spread in their last six at home. So this is something to pay attention to for sure. I I look at these numbers, and obviously Tennessee did not look great last week against Georgia. These numbers that are on your screen are from the last five weeks. They're really good running the football. They don't do it uh, a ton, but uh, I say they don't do it a ton. They run it 53% of the time. I mean, they're, they do it quite a bit. Uh, but when you look at it, they are much better as far as their success rate running the ball, etc., than when they pass the ball. They are number 29 in PPA per pass. Um, They're number 60 in passing explosiveness, but they're number 91 in passing success rate. So it's kind of a boom or bust situation for them when they throw the football. Uh, Missouri's defense, number 41 PPA per pass, number 19 in pass success rate, uh, but their passing explosiveness is number uh, 100. I look at this, and I think that where Missouri gets most of their success on passing defense is from havoc rate they are number nine in causing havoc tennessee's offense is number three in havoc allowed so i don't know that they're going to have as much success with that Uh, tennessee does not get into third and fourth downs a whole lot there's not a, a huge rate for it they are number 130 as far as their passing downs rate they stay ahead of the chains uh because they are super creative on first and second down they almost never get into that spot when you look at what they actually do as far as standard down PPA, uh, that's first and second downs, you know, short yardage, third, whatever it is, um, they are number three in standard downs PPA. They're number 11 in standard down success rate. Um, this is a, it's just a good offense, to be completely honest. And I know Missouri's got a really good defense, but you look on the other side and where, um, where Missouri's offense is bad, like, at least Tennessee's defense is good against the run. And I don't... That's what Missouri does the most. I mean, they run the ball 56% of the time, even though they've got a number 118 rushing success rate and uh, the number 120 PPA per rush offense in the country. Uh, they're not great throwing the ball either. I, I would... I don't know how Missouri really stays in the ball game here. And we know that Tennessee needs to win big in order to stay in this playoff race now that they've got a loss and probably will not be going to Atlanta for the SEC championship game. So I will uh, I will take Tennessee here to cover the 20 or 20 and a half, whatever it may be, uh, because I think that, you know, we saw what Tennessee did to Missouri last year with this Heupel offense. I mean, I don't know if Heupel has something against Missouri uh, with the way that things went there, but he, he took it out on last year, and it was more from running the football than it was from throwing it. So... That just something to watch for this one because they they smoked them in Columbia last year. Um, I think Tennessee handles this one pretty easily. So give me give me the Vols at minus twenty and a half. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at Gary WCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.